A live look over Sacramento this morning. You can see the gray clouds overhead. We're off to a cool start, but get ready for the warm up. Now, Darren, you have something really unique to share with us this morning. The thing about the middle of April in Northern California is that for like this four to five week period, this state really transforms yeah, in the blues. way it looks. Yeah, like yeah. the hills are bright green. It looks like Ireland and we get this like brief explosion of wildflowers, which the state is known for if you know where to look. Well, this is one of the places to look. This is the South Fork of the American River just up above Coloma. And this was an organized hike that I took part in weekend before last with the American River Conservancy. Look at all the people who came out for this. Those are all the people who knew this was coming. And you're going to know about it for next year as well. Because if this looks like something you'd like to be able to see in person for yourself, uh, the American River Conservancy is an organization that has been dedicated to preserving and protecting open space along the American River in this case, this is the South Fork immediately up above Coloma, where you've taken your kids to go look at the Gold Rush Historic Park. This is about a mile above that on the river where you get into this expanse of wilderness. It's a great story here. Back in the 70s, a group of uh, rafters are going down the river in the 70s before this became a popular thing. And they saw signs along this stretch of the river that said property for sale. And fearing what might happen if this fell into the wrong hands, you know, river raptors, river guides, who are not known for having large bankrolls, got together and were able to pool their money and in the 70s buy 800 acres of land. So did you have fun? This. Was it a pretty, I uh, mean. And what do you think? Look yeah. at that view. But so what about if you bring your kids along? Could they do the hike or is it, it's oh, moderately? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Here's oh, the beauty yeah. of this. I tried to show some of the hiking on here where you see the people walking down the trail. You could walk as far as you wanted on this, and you, from the point where you start with the group, you come to that field uh -huh. in about 90 seconds. Okay, so not too grueling or anything. Not too grueling. Yeah. And some of that group could hike all the way down to the river. That sure. then becomes grueling. We did encounter rattlesnakes on this hike, mm -hmm. but as long as you are aware of where you're stepping and make sure you don't startle the rattlesnakes, you will be fine. Let me show you a little more of the American River Conservancy. Go to their Facebook page for me. So if you want to do that hike, make sure you check them out because they will post on their website. You can see they're going to be part of the big day of giving coming up here on May 3rd. And then as we scroll down a little more, you'll see that they reposted my pictures on there from last weekend. Stay on top of this organization and then get signed up for this trip next year because that, even though they have helped preserve that particular piece of land, that particular piece of land is private property, so you can't go to it anytime you want. But if you just go up to Coloma, and if you haven't been to Coloma in a while, go now yeah. and look up at Mount Murphy on the other side of the river and you will see all of the poppies. And by the way, there's their logo for the American River Conservancy. If you've never heard of that organization, one of my favorites and definitely worth, worth getting to know. Darren, what awesome. a beautiful perspective. Thank you so much. Yeah. All right. Debating immigration on the House floor, the local leader.